Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to what I genuinely... What, what is about to happen? What are you are about to bear witness to? It's something that I wish that I had the, uh, the mental drive and the material on hand to, to do this routinely. Like, uh, I, hear, I hear Jimmy's voice, The Weekly Dumb! Uh, I hear it echo in my head because this is dumb, but sometimes, why not? So as, as some of you may or may not know, I'm building up a Centon 6S. I replaced a discontinued vehicle with another discontinued vehicle because uh, that's what I want to do. Uh, I, wanna, I want a bashy, bashy, fasty fellow to drive around on my buddy's track at his house, and the Centon is that. So the Centon uses a short course tire on a 17 millimeter hex wheel. I am a big fan of DE racing wheels. And this this segues in. Okay, so we've got we've got baseline. He's right here. He's ready to do work on the day. And you might notice his wheel hexes look a little weird. And this is because uh, I I I had bought new wheels and tires for my Centon. And I said, look, landmines. And then I, I was I was out here and I was like, I wonder I wonder how those fit. Like what 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 kind of fitment do we get on a 2230 short course tire? And the answer is, well, they fit pretty much exactly like a crawler tire does. And it, at that point the the idea formulated in my head. These are relatively vintage Techno 17 millimeter adapters for Traxxas Slash 4x4. And wouldn't you know it, with no troubles and uh, no no hitches, they just they just bolt right on. So I thought, we have done tests in the past to find terrible crawler tires, and you can do this. And I had fitted who had to go through that. I think it was Yella when Yella was still an Ecto. Yella tested a, a number of 17 millimeter hex tires, including some just straight buggy stuff, some sedan slicks, you you name it. These are short course landmines in the yellow J Concepts yellow compound. They are 110 millimeters tall, so they're just past a class one. They're just about the perfect size. So I was curious to see how does J Concepts Yellow compare to J Concepts Green, uh, particularly as these tires have closed cell foams in them because, you know, they're designed to, to move along pretty briskly. Then I was doing a trade, one of the ploffering trades, and a guy said, would you be interested in some Baja Claws? And all I saw... Like I've had, I've had this long running theory that uh, a cat, cats and children, they only hear the last words that come out of your mouth. So if you yell, "Don't do that," all they hear is "Do that." They don't they don't hear the first part. So I heard Baja Claw, and I was like, "Yes!" And then he sent them to me, and I opened the package, and I went, "What?" And then I went back and looked at the messages, and yeah, this is exactly what he said. Uh, Baja Claw SCT, so 2230. Now, the thing about the Baja Claw SCTs, and the reason that we're all here today, is these are in X2SS. With, I mean, they are, I don't, I, I mounted them up. Trinidad's, Borregos, I mounted these up. I don't know, like, I don't know if it's feasible to run these on a Centon. Now, everything I have that runs a... That's not even tape. That's just how sticky X2SS is. Uh, I don't... I don't know if I can put 4S through these. I mean, you shouldn't be able to do this. So as soon as I glued those up, I said, we have to put them on somebody. Baseline just happened to be the guy. We got to put them on baseline and see what happens. I mean, down to the... Like, look at, look at the 
offset. It's perfect. Like we should have no tire noise. So he's running a slightly over a class one, like a, this is like a 4.3, which is a good portal size. Honestly, I mean, if we were prejudging, and this isn't a tire test, we're just going to go out there and goof around. Oh, I got to get the bag. We're going to go out there and we're going to, we're going to goof around and look to, to do a short course. Uh, all you need is your, your vintage 1723 tire. That's, that's a good size tire wrench, right? That's all we need. Well, and a camera. I think because this isn't a true tire test, I'm not advocating putting your short course, 17 millimeter short course wheels on there, but Hey, why not? I, I'm somewhere around here. I've got some original slash BFGs. I don't know where they are, though. I'm going to look. Before we go outside, I'm going to look. I think these are going to do okay. I think these have the potential. I genuinely think these have the potential to do pretty well. I mean, they're very light. These are built for racing. So we're talking probably 80, 85 grams. So the sprung to unsprung is out the window, but man, it's going to be fun. Could be dumb. Could be good. We could learn something. We could learn nothing. That's what, why else would you come here? You've already come here. Let's go there. And if you've just glued up a bunch of tires, isn't the best test not to put them on something that goes extremely fast and you're like, ah, I'm going to glow, blow a glue bead. Uh, put them on your rock crawler. <laughs> As anticipated, I mean, it's a landmine. Look at that. <laughs> we we have we have no deflection, so we're using all compound and all lug. There's there's no. This thing should side hill amazing. Like ordinarily we get a pretty big belly hang here. We got less of a belly hang on a 110. Look at it, look at how positionable. Let's see if it'll. Ah, oh, I, th I, thought, I thought we could pull it back. Oh, not, not used to that pumpkin being that low. This is better. This is better than, I don't know if I would go so far as to say any OE tire, but most, and our old buddy JJ is in the house today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, we have, we have no tire deflection at all that that closed cell is stiff as it need be <laughs> this is the best day <laughs> the it's, it's this is hilarious to me these aren't just good in like this isn't doing well for a <laughs> that that utter lack of sidewall compliance. It's so stiff. It's like these are sticky bricks. Uh, the tire is stiff beyond belief due to that foam. And a more stiffer, a more stiffer, a more stiff short course compound. This isn't J Concepts green. It's J Concepts yellow. This is as good, if not better, than the performance I would expect from a stock landmine. Like a landmine that doesn't have uh, some sort of 3D printed foam or something in it. And then he's so narrow. Oh, <laughs> like, you're, you're, <laughs> he, doesn't <laughs> he doesn't have position ability now. It's almost like gymnastics where when you get this thing upside down, the tire is so rigid because three inch wheel on the inside. So, I mean, you saw the rubber is 
is that tall on the inside of the rim. So when you grab that on stuff, you can just rocket yourself around. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, the, the bring down here is it's not as dumb as I hoped it would be. Like these, these just actually work. I was expecting a modest level of performance out of the landline because of that foam, because it doesn't have a rock crawlery compound, because we've dropped a bunch of unspun weight, like a lot. This is all pumpkin issue. I need to jockey this to where I can get that pumpkin clear. And once it's clear, like if we were doing a junk view on this, because, well, okay, if we were doing a quick view on this, these would already be doing pretty well. Like we're well, we're well, this isn't a 70% tire. This is, honestly, this is delightfully surprising to me. Hey, if you need that extra knuckle clearance, do you want to run the, you want to put some like eight scale pillow ball knuckles on there? Go for it. Two, two, three O's. I'm still, I'm not advocating you do this, but I am saying if you have something larger that runs a two, two, three O with a 17 millimeter hex, you saw, you saw that pull up, right? We were all here together. It just goes. I, I had appropriately modest expectations. I thought, oh, well, you know, it'll be fun. Yeah, those, those aren't folding. Surprisingly, also, I, I would like to point out, we, we will get the camera swung over here to where you can see some flats so that I can show the steering response, which is ba 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 bonkers. Needed to get that entry just right. Yeah, we have, we have, <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> the body is pretty flat. Like, we have zero deflection. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe we've got maybe we've got less than zero deflection. A little a little strangeness there. <laughs> they are they <laughs> They're so stiff. They're, they're so, so here's what we, here's what we found. I thought that these would do astonishing, astonishing on the side hill, but they are so stiff. So they don't have that correct uh, proportion of grip and slip. It's all grip, no slip. So with the tire not deforming, and with how, I mean, you can see how squared off that edge is. It's so square. It just grabs. And then because we've lost conservatively one point two pounds, like in the 600 gram range, we've lost 600 grams of unsprung weight. The forward drive is the thing for me. It has a crazy, I wanna get over the, I wanna, I wanna see the, the tail lift here. Oh, I mean, obviously, come on. I was like, should I be driving these with a little more zazz? Oh, yeah, I mean, they, they're kind of built for it. So, as I mentioned, this, the steering response. It's so it's so sharp. Look at look at this turning circle. How about if we go even slower? We're, we're turned so far you can hear the universals just woo, 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 rolling all the way over. Okay, okay, 
You, you all saw it, right? Okay, I'm gonna whip it around again. That driver front's not moving, right? All right, we have to take a temporary pause here. Uh, so the roll off the hill might not be the overall stiffness. So the universal's not spinning, but the wheel and hex are. So we either lost the pin, the drive pin, or the drive pin broke. Oh, and uh, yeah, these are loosening up quite a lot. You know I only brought the one tool, right? You know I only brought the one tool. Yeah, every, every adapter was loose. Uh, the pin is just gone from that one. So we'll see if it wasn't just that driver front freewheeling. And we're just freewheeling off the side. I mean, three wheel drive, not optimal. And you know, it already feels a little different. Let's see. Yeah, no, it feels very different. They're still wicked stiff. It rolls so much. But, and just think, who knows, who knows when that pin fell out. So there's every possibility that this thing went up Daphne's in three wheel drive. I don't think it did. I think it fell out on one of the rolls here off the side. Hook. It's the, it steers so sharp. There's way more grip in these than there has any right to be. And aside from the clanking and clunking of falling off of stuff, this grips as well or better. And like, I guess this is kind of the success, why the double bun in itself is successful. We're talking about an insert. The, I would call these near extremely hard. They're supposed to be. They're on vehicles that go like 40 miles an hour. So maybe I've been going about the regular landmine wrong. Maybe the landmine needs a little more firm in it. They're on the bench right now. Do, do they need like just straight up Canyon mediums, double buns? I don't know if they've ever been tried on double buns. They're going to be now. So when I went back to find the stuff to fix this, uh, you know, pins fell out. Another pin fell out. Uh, luckily I had brought two. When I went to get those pins the first time, yeah, I found those slash tires. Come on, do it. <laughs> okay. These are the BFG TAs that came on slashes circa 2008 look how small they are these are maybe class one these should be hard as rocks these have been oven baked I remember to, hadn't discovered the heat gun process yet these have been oven baked off of the stock slash wheels and put onto de racing Trinidad's we have even less sidewall deflection than we had with the landmines all right, okay, we, we went from the weekly dumb to something extremely illuminating, which is this. How do companies, whether foreign or domestic, how, how is it conceivable that they mess up tires so badly this is a 15 year old rock hard compound short course tire. It's already out crawling, I don't know, 70% of junk view tires. I would put it better than at least half of quick view tires with no wheel and tire weight. Steering response is good. Drag brake. The, the, the pendulum has really swung here. We have really swung back in an opposite direction to a place that I don't. 
I don't, I'm not sure if I understand. Because this entire episode was initiated as a goof where I thought, <laughs> I've got those fresh glued short course tires. Let's throw them on a rock crawler. It'll be funny. Do you know how there's that instance where a movie is so bad, it becomes good again. And then there's something so sad that you find, mm, there's so some, something so sad that you begin to find humor in it. It goes from sad to funny. This is the opposite of that because I'm, I'm, I'm tumbling. I'm tumbling to, oh, she was kind enough to walk under the camera instead of like directly out in shot. Uh, this started off funny. And now all I can think about, what is dominating my thoughts right now is how many tires I have tested in the past. Jetco adventurers are screaming in the void. How can you make a tire purportedly for rock crawling make it so bad that a 15 year old short course tire that came on an RTR on a plastic wheel with a 17 millimeter hex can outcrawl you. I think what we've unintentionally done here is establish the new baseline. Not, not you, the actual, like the, the, the baseline of performance. If you're below this line, you're bad. And if you're above this line, you're good. It used to be the Canyon Trail, but now all Canyon Trails are S1s. And if you cut and sipe a Canyon Trail and put a decent insert in it, it will beat most tires. So that we can't use that as the baseline. So I is the baseline now, is the baseline of acceptable performance a 15 year old BFG Goodridge TA? Are we setting, are, are we now, is the mental bar too low? Because I can already, rattle off mentally a list of tires markedly worse than this one is are, are we sleeping on it is the industry segment as a whole sleeping on the 223.0 or me perhaps not specifically the 223.0 because it looks actually you know I'm, lo I'm looking right here let's let's zingity zoom I'm looking right there and let's, let's be honest. It doesn't look bad. Like that scaling doesn't look wildly off to me. I don't know how it would work with a beadlock. Uh, do we need staggered wheels? Is that what we're missing? Is this something no one ever knew to ask for? The positionability. Mad decent. My hopes now for the Baja Claw TTC short course are unacceptably high because they're the only tire of this group that is on an open cell phone and they're also about four and a half inches tall. So we're getting close to like a class two size. I still, it's wild to me that, like, look at that wheel. It doesn't look dumb. I don't know. I never thought that a 2.2 on a class one size tire. Way more grip than it should. Way more grip than it should have. And I'm telling you, if, oh, yeah, you get into some situations, the, the stiffness, the stiffness of these is really perceptible, really perceptible, but it's also manageable. We've learned, we have learned too many things today. This is, I guess this is how these things work out. I had no anticipation of learning anything. I wanted to come here and mush around on short course tires and 17 millimeter hexes and go, ha ha, look at the toy car do funny thing. Instead, it's now some kind of 
burgeoning existential crisis where we think we overthink tires. We think too much about tires and inserts because they are the interface between the vehicle and the ground. And I'm not gonna blame us. I'm gonna place the blame elsewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look outside and say that it's the companies making us tires that like, I don't think there's a grand amount of thought that goes into them. There really isn't. They say, here's our compound. It's soft and sticky. And here's the tire. It looks like insert real world tire here. And the performance of it is whatever. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. I should not be able to compare. Yeah, that lack of, that, that sprung to unsprung ratio. But like, look at the low speed. Can we get that front end to come down or are we gonna roll out? Yep. Do, I can't fault it. I can't fault it. This is a tire doing something. I think that, I think the old BFG was, in that little shot right there, I think the BFG was a little bit better than the landmine. This is a 15 year old tire being asked to do something that it was never designed for. Based on the, on the, con, the self distributed constraints of comparison, these tires are doing amazing. This is something roughly analogous to the prima ballerina finding out that wrestling shoes are 95% as good as her point, point shoes? What? Ba ballet slippers? Whatever they call those crazy toe walking shoes the ballerinas wear. X, X, X2 S S acting like X2 SS and these are close enough to the height of an X2 SS rock crawling tire that if you didn't know to look and you didn't know that they were mounted on a rim that prides itself on how light it is like these are rims that are like coming in at just 17 grams or however much they weigh because they know they're going to get spun up to 10 times 20 times 30 times the RTM, uh, RPM of a crawler tire. Now these are an open cell in here. So let's see, are we going to, yeah, see, not near, we've got deflection, ladies and gentlemen. We have, oh yeah, that tire's actually smooshed over a little. I still have a, uh, the, the little mid-motor guy. I think I've driven him before. He's got a red body. He's the one red rig in the fleet. These might be for him. He's running on ancient Duratrax short course tires. These might go to him because I don't know about putting 4S through these, honestly. This is something akin to, because they're so soft, because they're X2 SS, because they have a open cell insert, this is kind of like, I, I feel like putting these on the Centon is kind of going the other way around. It's like putting a rock crawling tire on a short course truck instead of a short course tire on a rock crawler. I, I, I will say already, this, this cannot be the baseline. Not you. We can't, we can't establish a minimum level of performance off of this. This is too good. On, on the scales, the arbitrary and self-chosen scale that I use to review rock crawling tires. This tire, as it has performed in about the last two minutes, two and a half minutes, 
is like a low 90s tire. And I fall deeper into this existential morass. They, they do it to us. They do this to us. Too, too, drove in too deep. Yeah. Side lug? Not as active. Can't quite get that side lug in there. But like... The precision, I should have brought my hat, I'm squinting like crazy. The precision with which you can place the vehicle. The low speed control is so much better than I would have anticipated. And obviously, they respond remarkably well to a little more zesty application of throttle. Like, I don't, I don't know if there's a rock crawling, a dedicated rock crawling tire out there that is going to respond to the beans as well as these. While at the same time, the low speed control is far better than it has any right to be. Because what do we have? We've fallen into a hole. We have the Baja Claw TTC, which is a scale tire. And I think pretty much inarguably my favorite scale tire. It does remarkably well, it's a fantastic tire. So what we've done here is the outside, we've taken the size of a 1.9, but put it on a 2.2. So the outer face is shorter, so that performs a little bit better, has less tendency to like smudge over. And then I don't know, I, I don't know, it's like too many changes all at once. So we can't really judge, I don't think, accurately, is, is the 3.0 side more gooder or more badder? Like, is it causing harm that is just offset by the other side or is it actually helping? I don't know how to judge that. All I know is that I've, I've pretty effectively arrived at a number. I think it's also uh, DE Trinidad's. DE Trinidad's just look good. That, that spoke shape and size. We need a rock crawling equivalent of that, of that tire. I mean, of that wheel. If I can get that rear unstuck. Gonna kind of try to saw it. I'm getting a good, a little bit of, uh, a little wide. We'll, we'll go back and reset. Now there is a lot less foam here, obviously. So your your positioning needs to be sometimes a little bit better. But I'm not finding myself thinking about it nearly as much as I would have to on a 1.9. It's it's genuinely wild. It's not that these are doing worse than anticipated. It's that the, the landmines and the vintage BFGs did so much better than I would have anticipated. These are, these are genuinely doing well for a rock crawling tire. I have to actually use a little more throttle. A little, my base throttle level, like the minimum low speed crawl, like to progress through there, it feels like I've got to give it a little more juice than the other two. Which is weird, it's taller. They've all been so good though. So each example, has done a little bit better than the one previous on this. Let us see if the, the open cell, the only guy on open cell, closed cell in the, in the Traxxas, closed cell in the J Concepts, open cell in here. Let's see if it gives us enough smudge to hold us up. It's gonna come down a grip and slip and these, whoop. 
<laughs> these, these are very grippy. So in, in certainly in amongst the list of surprises, if not at the top, I thought that these were just gonna murder Side Hill. Just murder this. But as you can see, the lack of weight, something of a problem. These self-write the best because they are the withiest. They are the girthiest. We've gotten just enough poke out of the fender. But side hilling wise, go figure, go and figure. If I had laid the three sets out in a line before I came out here and said, who's gonna side hill the best? It was not going to be the Traxxas BFGs from a slash two wheel drive. I would have said these. And honestly, these are kind of the worst at it. Now self-writing, these are the best at it by a lot. Pure forward drive, these have the most by a lot. All I can figure is that it's just weight. It's pure weight. Because these are not, these are not good at this. And I don't mean rock crawling, I mean side hilling. I can feel it gets so light, it gets so light. Like it has enough deflection on the rear. The deflection on the rear is correct. And these are 3.0 on the inside. So <laughs> you, <laughs> you could just put a whole ring of sticky back wheel weights on the inside of there. And I think these would probably be as good as air quotes, real Baja Claw crawler tires. Yeah, just, and you notice, if you can recall back to all the times that this guy has fallen off of a rock in the past, it's usually like boom, boom on his wheels. This is like roll, 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 roll. The sprung to unsprung ratio is blown. So the performance of these tires with all of that unsprung weight gone is, again, further condemnation of tires that are sold to us purportedly as crawler tires. So you come for the goofery, you stay for the steaming hot existential crisis. Man, the fact that so many manufacturers can get rock crawling tires so wrong is, is crazy because apparently you can get it right by accident. Um, these all did far better than they should have. These, genuinely, because it's a Baja Club TTC, it's just a different format, you know? The compound, the tread, the everything is the rock crawling tire. And I mean, I don't think this is, if, if it's head to head, this versus the other one, it's like 5%. It's up like 5% better on the crawler tires. And it's all unsprung weight. Yes. Can I help you? Well, you're bumping into the tripod now. I know that you ate. Oh, she's gonna rub her head on my feet. There's no excuse for, for these doing as well as they do. I mean, the Baja Claw is a good tire. X2SS is a good compound. Apparently the format only matters to an extent. The landmine in a harder compound, genuinely surprising. The BFG is hands down, I, I, I can't get my head around it. In, in junk view terms, the 15 year old BFG is in like the top five junk tires. What, what are we doing? I no longer understand what we're doing. This cat is begging for food. You gonna bump into that? Oh yeah. So any camera shake is brought about by, by this old gray beast here. I don't even know how to end this one, everybody. This is, 
everything came arrived unexpectedly like there's a reasonably long list of tires that can't perform that maneuver with the accuracy that that did i don't understand i don't understand so i will leave you on that this utter lack of understanding this is unquestionably the dead limit i just supposed to be it was just harmless fun man and then we ended up where we ended up please do if you have any experience with placing a short course tire on a rock crawler please do comment below uh the comments are free likes are free subscriptions are free none of those cost anything throw one down you know we're inching ever closer inexorably closer to 5,000 we'll, we'll reach our 5,000 sooner or later I, I have to ignore the social blade. Yeah, I go and I check my stats because I'm obsessed with numbers. I'm a baseball fan by nature, so. Uh, minutia. Oh, we've never gotten into minutia around here, have we? Who would have thought? Short course plastic wheels, DE racing, super light, like 80 gram combos, so light, so good. I just have to look at the bright side of the outcome of this. Like, maybe maybe firmer foam is actually what we're looking for not too firm but maybe super squishy is not the answer because we got a decent amount of forward drive out of tires that don't have super squishy this one had the most but the foams aren't super squishy they're they're this thick the foams are about 12 millimeters tall i don't know oh we're definitely left with more questions than answers for sure if you have any, leave them below. If you have any ideas to fill out uh, what, what I had hoped to be like, the weekly dumb. I love the weekly dumb. Uh, John Boy, uh, I love it. And I thought I, I can replicate that, but I can't. I ended up getting existential. Anyway, thanks for coming by. Come by again in the future. Uh, in between now and when we meet again, please, one and all, do your very best. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. And honest, truth be told, I don't know what that will be.